hi everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel it is great being back with you guys again today i thank you for watching and i appreciate you all for those 1000 subscribers i can't thank you enough well today's video is in reference to who is my guardian angel and how i can contact my guardian angel or communicate with my guardian angel well to communicate with your guardian angel is very simple it's just as simple as communicating with your spirit guides and protecting spirits and all spirits in general but there's one key thing very important in communicating with your guardian angel and those beings of light and the most important thing is raising your vibration that's the most important thing um, we have heard many stories of people that have seen their guardian angels that have been protected or warned of many problems from their guardian angels at times of trouble or danger so these beings sometimes when you're distracted and, and you're in just a, a calm and relaxed mood they just connect with you and contact you and, and you could feel their presence that is why it's so easy for kids um, children to communicate with their guardian angels and see them and feel them and a lot of I hear a lot, I hear this a lot from children that they see their guardian angels and they talk to their guardian angels. And the reason is because kids are always in a good mood. Kids are, are, are just pure love. And they're always in a mood of gratitude and happiness and joy and expectance. And, and this is the type of mood and energy you need to communicate with your guardian angel. You need to be vibrating at a very high vibration. And... And this is not difficult at all. It's very easy to raise your vibration. All you have to do is just feel love. Feel love for everything in general and just get in that connection with that emotion of love. And that raises your vibration automatically. And you can even ask your guardian angel to help you raise your vibration so that you can communicate with them. So it's very easy and it's very simple. Um, some people might find it difficult. The only difficulty that you can have communicating with your guardian angel is when you're in a bad mood, when you're cursing, when you're irritated, and the energy in the home just feels tense in general. What happens is that your vibration lowers, and these beings of light, they just back up. Why? Because when the energy is, when your energy is negative, they're not gonna connect with you. Not even your spirit guides or any beings of light. That's why I always say when you're, when you're going to sit in your both that just make sure that prior to that you have relaxed and you're calm, you haven't had any arguments, you haven't been irritated for, for any reason at all because it's very important to raise your vibration to communicate with the spirits. And I also been asked why is it so easy to hear dark spirits, low vibrational entities and the reason why is because sometimes we spend the day just arguing, cursing, and, and you know, in that horrible mood, and that lowers our vibration. So it's easier for those lower level entities to enter our energy field, and we can hear them, we can feel them. Especially when a house is haunted or when there's negative energy in a home. So your vibration automatically lowers, and these entities, you can hear whatever sounds they make, you can even hear them. Your thoughts connect with them automatically, even without you wanting to. And it's because you're vibrating at a low vibration. That's why it's very important when, um, if you're developing as a medium, um, to always, when you're gonna enter a place that you're going to cleanse or anything like that, to always make sure that you're vibrating at the highest vibration, which is love and gratitude prior to entering and surround yourself with light and just protecting yourself. When you're in fear, fear lowers your vibration. And these beings vibrate at a low vibration. So fear, anger, hate, jealousy, all these things lower your vibration. So it's important as you're developing as a medium or starting your path and your spiritual journey to learn to remove all these things out of your life to learn to control your anger not to withhold it but learn to not allow it to control you because these things help in your journey in your spiritual development 
learning how to control these things, these emotions. Because they, they don't add to anything, they do not help you grow spiritually. You want to be communicating with your spirit guides and your guardian angel. So you want to be vibrating at a high vibration. So in order to communicate with your guardian angel, what you're going to do is, you can start practicing once a week or twice a week, um, depending on what time you have available. But you have to be very consistent. You have to do it at the same time every day and sit in the same place. So just make sure that you're comfortable, that you're relaxed, and that day you haven't been irritated by anything or you haven't been bothered by anything. And set that time. Put it in your calendar. Set that time and, and date. It's like you have a date with your guardian angel. You're going to sit. And just close your eyes. You don't have to do any special meditation. Just close your eyes and relax. And prior to that, you do a prayer. You surround yourself with light. You ask. You can you can say it out loud or mentally because they can hear you mentally. Just say, my guardian angel, I wish to communicate with you. Please help me to raise my vibration and communicate with you. I want to feel your presence. You can even ask them for a sign. You can ask your, your guardian angel for a sign. You might find a penny. You might you might see the numbers 1111. 11. You might also um, feel their presence because their presence is love. When your guardian angel, when your guardian angel is around you, the feelings that you feel is very hard to explain unless you felt it before, but it just feels love. You just want to be in that moment at all times. It's an incredible, incredible feeling of love and that's when you know that you have connected with your guardian angel you might also feel a cool breeze and that's the presence of your guardian angel connecting with your energy and then you know that you're vibrating at a high vibration so after this what you do I always recommend that you have a notebook a hand and a pen and you write down your questions prior to that moment at first um, don't try and do it for an hour because you don't want to get stressed because if you don't feel them, if you don't hear them, you're going to get stressed and agitated. No, just start by doing it 10 to 15 minutes because you're going to take at least 5 minutes or 4 minutes relaxing, relaxing yourself and, and making sure your mind is clear. Don't push it, don't force it because it's going to happen naturally. It's going to just, just happen. You don't have to force anything. Just do your prayer, just make sure you do your prayer um, and, and call at the divine light of God to surround you, protect you, and ask your guardian angel to surround you with their light and love and help you to raise the vibration. And then just sit there and just breathe. Focus on your breathing and relaxing your body, every part of your body, clear your mind. And, and just start thinking of love, just feeling love in your heart. Just imagine a white big ball of light in, in your solar plexus. If you can do that, you can visualize that with your eyes closed and, and just start mentally set the intention to raise your vibration. And automatically, it's all about intention. Automatically, your, your vibration start raising. You start just feeling the connection. You might feel it immediately. It might take a little while. But like I said, do not do not get aggravated, do not stress about it. If it doesn't happen the first time, it will happen the second time, but you will connect with your guardian angel. And just write down your questions prior to sitting. Write down all the questions that you want to ask. First start with three questions. Uh, don't ask too many because you're gonna be focused on the questions. After you connect with your guardian angel, just take your pen and, and just hold your pen and just relax. And the answer will just come up mentally. Ask the question mentally and the answer will come mentally also. Or just come with a feeling. It depends if you're intuitive, it will come with a feeling. If you're a clairvoyant, it will come with a vision. And if you're a clairaudient, you'll be able just to hear that small voice of your guardian angel. If you have your eyes closed and you see a very bright light, the angels, this is, this is your angels, your guardian angel. Because the angels are a big ball of white light. They're just pure light. And that's what you feel. That's what you feel around you. And, and sometimes even see that. 
so like I said it's very very simple um, it's not difficult at all just make sure that you vibrating at the moment that you sit down and, commun and try to communicate with your guardian angel just make sure that you're vibrating at a high vibration of love and gratitude you can even while you sit down to try to relax just focus on the things that you're grateful for just start thanking God and, and God I thank you for this day I thank you for the food I eat I thank you for my family I thank you for my health I thank you for all the blessings you have bestowed upon me. Thank you for everything you've done for me. I thank you for watching over me and guiding me. Um, and as you do that, you're raising automatically your vibration. You must remember everyone has a guardian angel. Every single one of us. We are all born with a guardian angel that comes with, a, that comes with us um, to this earth prior to our birth. That guardian angel is sent by God to protect us and guide us. So if you don't communicate, if you don't feel your guardian angel, don't say, I don't have a guardian angel. We all have one. And like I said, if you follow these steps, you're, gonna, you're going to see that very, very soon you'll be connecting with your guardian angel. you feel your guardian angel because they're always around us. Always. Every minute of the day. The only thing that pushes them away is when we're angry, when we're cursing, when we're irritated, and we're in a bad mood. So try to just change your ways and, and always be in a, in a happy state of mind. I know sometimes it's difficult depending on the people we're surrounded with, so it's difficult to maintain that, that positive energy. But um, you just have to know that you don't have to allow this. You don't have to allow yourself to, to be affected by someone else's negative energy. Don't let it affect you. Just surround yourself with white light. And if you have to just walk away from a certain situation, walk away. I thank you for watching. God bless you. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Do not forget to share because it might help others to love and light to you all.